This is uh, Evan Abrams, and today I'm going to be showing you a little bit about uh, animating text and kinetic typography and uh, all that fun stuff. So let's uh, let's get into what uh, started uh, me talking about this subject, uh, which is um, my buddy over at uh, World of Tim. Uh, the World of Tim uh, asked me to make a, a bumper for his review show, uh, The World of Tim Reviews Everything, in which he will be reviewing uh, everything, as the, as the title suggests. What, uh, what I did uh, for him was this, this uh, bumper, check it out. Also the end bumper, check that out also right now. What we're looking at here is, as you saw, a lot of rapid fire text that confuses you a little bit, um, and some floaty images in a universe of floaty images. There's some particles in there. And we're going to go through some of these elements uh, one at a time and um, dissect uh, what makes this thing uh, what it is. Okay, so the first element um, is of course um, this text. Um, and rather than going through all of it, because um, I'm sure you can see there's a lot of it, I'll just uh, talk about how it was generated. Um, as you can see, it forms the word everything. So your starting point is to create a new composition and create it to the size that you're going to be making. Set the background to transparency or not. It's totally up to you. Um, text tool. What kind of word would you like to use? Let's use my name because I'm gross and narcissistic. Ha 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 ha. Let's make it in a. Uh, a size that we can work with so that even when far away you can tell what it is we're talking about. Let's make it pretty big. Um, let's try to get it in the center. Um, and what we'll be doing is we will be making text that covers this text. So let's make this text white or red. I think I made mine red when I was working on it. Um, and what we'll do uh, for me is uh, we will uh, be filling in, basically be filling in the geometry of the letters with other words. Um, to create Tim's words, we used a random word generator. I think I hit random on Wikipedia a lot of times. So I, I might time lapse this ahead or just cut it, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, position all those things uh, right now. And uh, I will save you the time and the hardship of listening to me make small talk with you, um, which anyone who's met me in person knows is a harmful experience for all parties involved. Okay, so I think that's got it. Um, as you can see, um, when the words are on, uh, it looks uh, very much uh, like my name. Made of gold, mustache, Jewish, taller than average, happy and fit and sexy again there twice. That's just in case you forgot the first one there. So uh, we have all of the words that are going to make up our bigger word. Let us uh, animate them on. You can see that we've got them arranged uh, starting from where we want. We want the first one to be this one, and then that one, that one, that one, that one, and that one, and then that one, that one, that one, that one, then this one, and that one. So what we're going to do next, select all these, not hold down caps lock. Uh, we have to uh, make them three-dimensional. Okay, grab the position value uh, of the first one. We're going to go animation, 
separate the dimensions because we only want to affect the Z. Sorry, that's that's animation. Uh, separate dimensions, which is going to make your X, Y, and Z into uh, different properties. This will be important when we're talking about copying and or pasting of things. Okay, so separated X, Y, and Z. The only thing we care about is position. Set it to zero. Go ahead 10 frames. Set a keyframe. Let's go back. We're going to start it out at minus 500. So put it closer towards the camera, negative towards you. Uh, um, and what we're going to do, instead of having just mm, kind of meh, kind of come in, we're going to have a little bit of a bounce in there. Um, so let's back up one, two, three frames, push it past our target. So 500, you're going 550 pixels forward, one, two, and then Let's uh, undershoot, minus 25, so you're going boing, boing, boing. Um, this is a motion that uh, your eyes naturally expect to happen. Um, so when, it, when we don't see it, it seems unnatural. But when we do see it, we don't really think uh, you know, much of it. So remember, if you're good at motion graphics, people don't even know what you're doing. It's really not an industry if you want to be ever recognized for your work. Um, let's tighten this up. Uh, let's do that. Tighten, tighten. Bam. Bam. And now let's go ahead and... Yeah, let's copy all of these. Return here. When you copy keyframes and then paste them, um, it pastes them from the point where you put that down. So maybe you're thinking now, Evan, that's terrible because now they're all happening at the same time. We're going to fix that right now. Um, select uh, all of them. We want to go ahead to where they've all settled. Good, you've settled. Fantastic. And now, um, this layer is no longer important to us, um, but these ones, select them from the bottom to the top, animation, keyframe assistance, sequence, and they're going to go one after the other, pop, 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 pop. And now, select them all again, and uh, option, close, square bracket, pop, 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 oh, yay, that was good satisfactory absolutely so you've just uh, gone ahead and created all of the things coming on pretty fast faster than usual and uh, the next thing to do is to create a camera layer new uh, camera okay because, I mean, this is great and everything, but uh, without that real flying around uh, thing, then you can't really create that sense of confusion that uh, we're looking to cause. But uh, we do know that after this settles, that's where you are going to... Anyway, the place you're going to want to end up is where we are right now, so we're going to want to put a transform position and Z rotation there. We are going to want to set up the camera to uh, layer transform uh, point of interest. We want to actually get rid of the point of interest, so layer uh, transform auto orient off. Now it won't look at that point of interest. And we, wanna, we, we know we want to end up here eventually, so good, we've set that. Now let's go to where we wish to begin. And we want to start where this is basically going to come in and we're going to... This is going to be like the first thing that comes to us. It's going to be this. So we're hanging out here. Boom. Boom. And, oh no, this thing seems maligned. Let's go ahead and... Uh, uh, zoom out enough so that that fits in. Uh, 
what we're going to do is basically when you hit C you're cycling through your camera uh, options and we're using the Z rotation Z we're using the Z rotation to uh, to make the most use of that so fun made of gold uh, okay when it says sexy I want sexy to be front and center because I'm a very high opinion of myself. Boom, 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 boom. Remember, we're always moving towards this goal here. So, boom, boom, boom. Oh no, mustache. If we missed mustache. Let's go over there and get it. And let's make sure that while we're there, we are rotated a bit so that mustache is good. Jewish. We want that to be front and center too. Um, let us rotate around so that that's good. We're going to clean up the animation afterwards, but for now, uh, for this one, we kind of want to see the whole taller. Actually, step that back a bit. So taller than average. Let's uh, make sure that people are able to read most of it. Jewish, taller than average. I suddenly don't like this frame. Taller than average. Boom. Let's make sure that this is in view. Let's uh, move in and get this all in view. Let's have more of my sing-songy voice. Happy and fit and fit. Cannot read that for the life of me. Let's see if that negatively affects what we're going for. Okay, which will bring us back to here. Oddly enough, not where we started. Not sure how that happened. Um, either way. Um, there we go. Uh, that seems about right. Let's run it through. Boom, 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 boom. Ah, this is far too fast here. Let's just go ahead and space those out a little bit. So the idea is that as you're going through it, you don't want your audience to really know what they're getting into until the end. Um, got enough space between what you're uh, doing, you're going to want to easy ease all of them, guaranteed. Um, just hold down Command, click one. Sorry, <laughs> that actually causes a bezier. Um, my bad. Just. Um, keyframe assistant easy ease um, that's a temporal change which uh, creates a bit more of a pleasing effect um, so we've got our camera we've got our text coming in um, the camera will uh, apply later but um, this is all well and good what we're gonna do is grab them all go to layer pre-compose and call this Evan text there you go. Boom. You got that going on. Congratulations. You've just created your textual element um, for, uh, for your animation.